Hello friends, gratitude is one of the best human qualities, and people who are capable of it make those around them truly happy. The story that I'm about to tell you began back in 1977, when a three-month-old baby, Amanda Scarpinetti, was urgently taken to the Albany Medical Center in New York. She fell from a couch onto a hot steam humidifier. Amanda was diagnosed with a third-degree burn and her badly injured head was bandaged. The burned baby was cared for by a young nurse who treated her very tenderly, but didn't expect to be shocked 38 years later. Susan Berger felt very sorry for the baby and tried to spend every free minute with her. The picture of them together was published in the hospital's annual report for that year. The photo shows how the nurse gently holds the baby. Another photo shows Amanda looking at the nurse with a smile. After all, every child, even a very small one, senses how the adult feels about them. Amanda was infinitely grateful to this young woman, and she kept these pictures through the years. She often looked at them and tried to find this woman several times. The former little patient felt how much warmth emanated from this amazingly kind young nurse. These photos helped Amanda get through the hardest days of her life when she was bullied at school. At first, her face and head looked terrible, all covered with scars. So she had to undergo several surgeries. But she couldn't find that nurse. The photograph didn't have her last or even first name. This upset Scarpinetti very much. She felt that she had to find this person and express her gratitude. Feeling desperate, Amanda decided to try her luck on social media, so she posted her story and pictures on Facebook. Less than a day later, the shocked woman got her answer. The young nurse was Susan Berger. She was identified by Angela Leary, who worked with Berger at the hospital. Over 20 years of searching had finally given results. Having learned her full name, the search became much easier. Thus, 38 years later, the grateful Amanda managed to find her hospital guardian angel. The nurse was 21 years old at the time, and the burned baby was one of her first patients. Berger now oversees the health center at Casanova College in New York. She also remembered Amanda and kept those pictures through the years although she was surprised that Amanda had been looking for her for 38 years. I remember her, Berger said. She was very peaceful. Usually when babies come out of surgery, they're sleeping or crying. She was just so calm and trusting. It was amazing. That's how Amanda won over Susan and secured her place in Susan's memory for many years. Two weeks after Amanda reached out to Susan, the two women met at the same medical center where their story began over 40 years ago. Amanda tearfully hugged and thanked the nurse. Susan was amazed by Amanda's deep and sincere gratitude towards her for simply doing her job well. The former nurse said that Amanda looked great and her former patient was happy that her dream of many years had finally come true. She got to thank the woman that took care of her. It's obvious that both women were a bit shaken meeting so many years later. Never forget the people who did you good, and especially if it saved your life. People incapable of gratitude only attract the same kind of selfish people, and sooner or later, it will end badly. Well, that's all, friends. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.